gusta la velocidad, lo quiero rápido, rápido. Room Room Bitches is me again, Tyrese Gibson. We gonna go to the moon. We shoot ourselves into space. We gonna fly and play with Magnus, cause it's fast and the furious. I get hungry and I get made fun of, but this time around I'm invincible. Ain't nobody shooting me down. That's for sure, bitches. But that's okay. Cause you gonna go see our movie anyway. It doesn't have to make sense. That's physics. We got the family, and we're gonna blow some shit up in here. Go see the movie. You gonna love it. F9. It's for the fam. Blockbusters are back. With the release of F9, the ninth film in the main Fast and the Furious franchise, Hollywood and cinemas have seen a massive boom with one of the most popular action franchises, leaving previous box office openings during the pandemic in its dust. Ten films into the series, including spin-off Hobbs and Shaw, how does the Fast and the Furious franchise's latest outing fare compared to its predecessors? Is it worth viewing, or has the franchise finally run out of steam and jumped the shark? Or perhaps in this film's case, jumped the moon. Returning to the director's chair after sitting the last two films out, Justin Lin brings back some self-referential humor alongside actor Soon Kang, whom has appeared in most of Lin's films and every Fast and the Furious directed by him. But how did Han survive? The key revolves around Mr. Nobody, again played by Kurt Russell, and Jacob Toretto, the previously unheard of brother of Dom, portrayed by John Cena. When Jacob extracts Cypher, again played by Charlize Theron, from the custody of Mr. Nobody, it is up to Dom, reprised by Vin Diesel, and the whole Furious crew to stop Jacob before he destroys the whole world order and Cypher can get away. Yes, it's high stakes, fast cars, hijinks, and bikinis all around, as only Fast and the Furious can do. The film descends even further into mindless action and nonsensical plot lines, though it is fun to see most of the main crew together again, sans Paul Walker's Brian. Though fans can be assured, the character is not forgotten. Again, the film's premises centers on family and what that means for the crew. And the movie is ultimately a fun ride, if not as well polished as its previous entries. In fact, Lin's return is what disappoints most about the film, as the movie feels more akin to the entries he didn't direct than to the ones he previously had a hand in. The action is fun and over the top, but sometimes too much so. And while this film offers plenty of moments where characters make fun of themselves, the plot or the impossible nature of the stunts they pull off, even these tongue-in-cheek moments aren't enough to excuse some of the truly stupid scenarios displayed on film. Each set piece is over the top, but with the movie's attempts to be bigger, faster, and curiouser? than what came before, what once was the crux of these films, now feels glossed over with less attention paid to each set piece in order to deliver the next big set piece as fast as possible. As promised, yes, this film does take our heroes into space in what could be the dumbest or most brilliant act of the entire saga. And while there is plenty of humor to be had with this gag, it does feel like something that could have been pulled off better if, again, the usual attention to detail Lynn previously gave set pieces in the other movies had been given to this scene. Ultimately, F9 is a fun film that is worth a watch, though it feels like a stopgap between the last entries and the final two now being filmed back to back. The movie is fine, but doesn't really add anything to the franchise other than Dom's brother, who doesn't feel like a necessary addition and more like a poor replacement for the now absent Brian, though the final two films could change this. At the end of the day, F9 is one of the weaker points in the series, but it's still fun enough to keep me invested in seeing this franchise through despite its ever-growing flaws. The series has run its course, and it's obvious that it's time to let it end. Here's hoping Justin Lin can deliver a more satisfying conclusion in the final two films. I give F9 two out of four stars. <laughs>